let's learn some basic terms in geometry like point line line segment and rays now the red dot you see here is called as point point is a very tiny or a very small dot you can also draw a point on a piece of paper with a sharp pencil typically points are named with a capital letter so in this case i have named this point as p so this is point p where have you seen points yes you can see points typically on a map they show uh, different cities or capitals using points so points are mainly used to show position and points do not have length or breadth or thickness you might say that i can measure length or thickness of a point it might be very very small it could be like in millimeter or half a millimeter but i can still measure it yes you can measure because what you are drawing is a picture of point the idea of point is such that it doesn't have any length breadth or thickness but what you are trying to do is you are trying to draw that picture of that idea and not the idea itself so let's go over the next concept which is a line a line is a set of many many points it's like countless points put together close to each other that makes a line so the line you see here is straight and it's infinite that means there is no end to it there is no beginning and no end it extends indefinitely in both the directions do you see these arrow heads here these arrow heads show that the line continues on both the sides indefinitely and you can name the line using any two points on it so in this case i have named this this line as ab because i have these two points a and b selected on the line and you see a little line above ab that shows that this is a line line has no thickness but it has length but you cannot measure the length why because it's infinite there is no end to it now the next concept is of a line segment a line segment is really a part of a line which has two end points you can see these two points here a and b which is a is a beginning point and b is the end point you can see that the line segment is named as ab and it is uh, there is a little dash on ab that shows that it is a line segment it also doesn't have thickness because it's part of a line but in this case the length can be measured now how do you measure the length yes using a ruler now the next concept is of a ray now ray is also a part of a line but it extends indefinitely only in one direction so it has a starting point which is also called as point of origin now if you look at the diagram here the starting point here is a and then there is yet another point we have selected on the ray which is point b so we can use these two points the point of origin and one more point to denote or to name a ray so this ray you can see uh, is named as ab and you can see a little arrow above ab that shows that it is a ray now where have you seen examples of rays yes sun rays is a good example of ray because you know that it has a starting point and you don't know where it ends 